Are you wondering where to travel in your 20s? <laughs> I got you. By the end of this video, you'll be an expert and you'll know where in the United States, but also internationally, you should travel when you're in your 20-somethings. Hey, what's up? I'm Erica Roche and welcome to I America, where we travel through my quarter life crisis. This video, I'm going to tell you all the top spots that you need to travel to while you're still 20 something years old. So if you're looking forward to that, then stay tuned. So let's just get right into it. So we're going to start off with the places to travel in the United States. So number one, you have to go to New Orleans. New Orleans is lit. It's lit. It's cheap. It's fun, the nightlife, amazing, the food, even better. New Orleans is where it's at. And you have to go, you can go through like Mardi Gras. You can go for, I went from Halloween last year. New Orleans is so fun. And make sure you stay tuned to see when I post my how to plan your Mardi Gras trip. Video coming soon. Definitely a worth it. Next. You're not an American citizen if you haven't been to Vegas. So I guess I'm not an American citizen because I haven't been yet, but I plan on going this year. Vegas is everything when you are young. It's fun. The nightlife, the casinos, like who doesn't love to gamble? There's a casino right when you get off the airplane, like in the airport, like, like mind blown. Yes, you have to try Vegas. My next place will be Atlanta. Home, home is where the heart is. Atlanta. You have to come to Atlanta. You have to get into the culture. And the difference about Atlanta is that they have a lot of neighborhood culture as well. So what's happening in downtown will be a little bit different than what's happening in Midtown. Like for instance, like Midtown has a lot of our like gay bars and things like that. Like you have to check it out. They have like rainbow sidewalks and stuff. Really cool. Um, then you have to go to like Old Fourth Ward, which is like a whole different like artsy type of vibe and stuff like that. Like Atlanta has something for everybody. And we have some of the best attractions and like museums and stuff. So like for instance, like the World of Coke, Skyview. Actually, you can check out my video on things to do in Atlanta. Uh, it's gonna be in the cart, so just click on the eye above. <laughs> my next place will be New York City. New York, the concrete jungle where dreams are made up. No. <laughs> New York, the list just goes on and on and on and on why you should go to New York. Let's talk about the food. All the good food is in New York and LA. Oops, don't want to give too much away just yet. And then the theater, like Broadway is in New York. Like I can't wait to go to actual Broadway. Like I want to go see Wicked on Broadway. Like that's my absolute dream. One day I'm going to do it. I'm stoked. Um, there's just so much and... It's just like, they just have, everything is just cool in New York. There's like different nightlife and every borough gives you a different type of vibe. And it's just, it's New York. Like, why not? Like, and for my people that might be interested, uh, parental advisory, but the Museum of Sex and Stuff is in New York. And that's something really cool to go to when you're in your 20s because Rihanna been there. All right, let's move to the next Next one. place you should check out is Atlantic City. Atlantic City is known for its casinos. Yes, some, somewhere on the East Coast to gamble. Um, So mini Vegas, kind of right? No, maybe not really. I don't know. And then also, yo, when you go to Atlantic City, you have to check out the boardwalk. People love the boardwalk in Atlantic City. And so if you're going to Atlantic City, you might as well just make it a longer trip and do Atlantic City for like a day or two and then do New York for like two, three days. Perfect, right? Knocked out two birds with one stone. The next place you have to go to in the United States is Austin, Texas. Yes, baby, Austin is where it's at. I love Austin. Austin is my favorite place outside of Atlanta to visit. Tacos, there's nothing else to say. Tacos, next. <laughs> no, but the food in Austin is great. There's tacos, there's food trucks. Uh, I love Gordo Donuts in Austin. So good, but just... Austin is Austin. It's just such great energy in Austin. There's like an artsy type spirit in Austin. There's graffiti everywhere. They actually have like a graffiti wall that you can like actually go up to get some great pictures and stuff. Definitely check it out. But also Austin has some really cool museums that you would never think about. Like I had a great time at the Lyndon B. Johnson Museum when I went to Austin last. So definitely try out Austin. Let's move right on to the next one. The next one would be like mentioned before, LA. Everybody loves Los Angeles. Los Angeles is the city of hopes, dreams, 
actors and inappropriateness. <laughs> Los Angeles. First of all, the food in Los Angeles, like, it just seems like they have everything. Like, every food that you could ever think of is in Los Angeles. Like, that's where you would get it in America. Like, if you can get it internationally, you have to go to LA to get it in America. Like, let's just... It's just the melting pot. Like Los Angeles is a melting pot. And that's one of the top reasons why you should go is to get into some diversity and try some things that you've never tried before. And that's very important when you're in your 20s. The next reason why you should go to LA is to try out the beaches and may I say less shopping. Yes, they have like Rodeo Drive and things like that, but there's a store of every time. And for my ladies, yes, they have an actual Fashion Nova store. Check it out. <laughs> next and my last place in the United States of where you should visit in the United States in your 20s is Chicago. You have to go to Chicago. You gotta go see the bean. You gotta go see the bean. Chicago has a lot of nice public parks, so that's something to do for free and for cheap, but also it has some of the best skyscraper views in the world. Chicago is beautiful. I went in February, so it was like just after like a big blizzard, so it was a lot of snow. I fell and busted my behind, but it was still a great time. And not to mention, they have a lot of Chicago authentic food so like the chicago hot dog chicago's pizza and things like that and you guys got to try it all why not why wouldn't you want to go to chicago so next we're going to talk about where to travel internationally in your 20s so number one is amsterdam amsterdam is absolutely beautiful you have to go spend some time in amsterdam like a day or two and just check out the beautiful scenery in amsterdam number two weed is legal they decriminalize marijuana so recreational marijuana is legal in amsterdam so if you're into that type of thing hey, you found a place to go internationally where you can do it. And also, the people at Amsterdam are really friendly. So you'll feel, feel like you're right at home, but you're overseas. Cool. Where's the next place, you may ask? Barcelona. Yes, Spain. So if you've seen my Madrid travel vlog, which if you haven't, it's in the cards. I love Spain. So my next place that I want to go personally is Barcelona, and I think you should go too when you're in your 20s. First off, the nightlife in Barcelona goes crazy. I always hear about it, but also the beaches are absolutely beautiful. I hear that Barcelona has the clearest water you'll probably ever see in your life. So you have to check out Barcelona. Not to mention, in Barcelona, there's a lot of wealth. So you can get a taste of that luxury lifestyle in Barcelona. So the next place you have to go to is Prague. Huh. People love Prague. Prague is a great place for backpackers. Prague also has a lot of good positive energy. It's just something that you want to overwhelm yourself with. And also, Prague is a great place for my beer drinkers. I hear Prague has some really tasty beer. Next up is Thailand. Thailand has come extremely popular the last few years, um, maybe in the past year or two. So you definitely have to check it out and this is the time to do it while you're still young. Once you get to Thailand, it can get really cheap and affordable, so why not? You can live like a king for only a few bucks. But it is kind of expensive to take flights to Thailand, but you save once you get in your expenses, so like your room and board and your food. It's really affordable over there. And not to mention, Thailand is just absolutely beautiful. They have some great tourist attractions and you just have to see it for yourself. Next is Bulgaria. Bulgaria is perfect for someone in their 20s because they offer a lot of free tours in Bulgaria. Also, there's a lot of pub crawls. If you're into that type of thing, then Bulgaria just might be the place for you. Also, Bulgaria is pretty affordable. They have some great hostels that you can get for about 10 to 15 US dollars. And last but not least, you have to go to Cuba in your 20s. Let's just say we've always heard about Cuba when we were in school and things like that. And they said you would never be able to go. Well, times have changed and you have to go see the beautiful place of Cuba with your own two eyes. Cuba can be relatively affordable once you get there. Cuba has a lot of cheap drinks and cheap food that's actually really delicious. And it gives you that authentic Cuban taste. And not to mention, the culture in Cuba is just overwhelming. So go to Cuba, go support the local businesses in Cuba, and help them out because they will love to have you. So that's it. Those are the top places to go when you're in your 20s. So now all you have to do is book a flight and book your stay. If you need any help, I link to my top budget travel apps 
in the card. So check it out. Also, comment down below and let me know if you've been to any of these places. I want to know where y'all have been. But thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. It really does help me out. And this is Erica Roche saying bye. Open up. You open up. Bitch, you won't be We should be closer than friends.